contingent yeah okay but the, that's why we say it requires a necessary mm. existence mm. for it to make sense because it could have the universe could have existed or not exist yeah it could have been there or not there yeah? uh sure okay well actually no actually no i don't i don't know that for certain Assalamu alaikum guys, before the video starts, Misk, do check it out, it's a brilliant app for those who want to pray Salah and share the rewards, check them out now. Salam, yeah? okay. So it stands for sharing affection, love and mercy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Doesn't it mean peace? Yeah, Salam yeah, means it peace, mean but what it stands for, each letter, sharing affection, love and mercy, Salam, S-A-L-A-M, yeah? You can see it. Yes, got it. Do you see it? There can be no doubt. Yeah. So now what we're doing is, we're, we're trying to... We believe everyone has an innate disposition. They're born with, we're all programmed, yeah? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to enlighten them, yeah? That's something all of us are born with. That's why in Islam we believe everybody's born a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who submits their will to God, yeah? So... You think a baby is born a Muslim? A baby is born a Muslim. And what do we mean by that? We mean that um, they are born on the fitrah, yeah? Okay. So the innate disposition, yeah? So that means mm. that there was a recent study done in Cambridge University, which they said that uh, if you know the, the, the babies, like, if you, I think I know they have this saying. innate thing to turn to a higher being. Yeah. So this is why we say Muslim, because Muslim is the one that submits his will to God. Yeah. However, as a Christian, a Christian would have to come to that baby as it's growing up and nurture it and say to it, Jesus is God and he died for your sins. A Buddhist might do the same and say, okay, Buddha it was blah blah blah. A Hindu might come and say, okay, we have one million gods, etc. But you see, what we say is the following. That child is born right. with the fitra. So what that means is that it has the innate belief. We believe all the prophets came with that one message, worship God alone. Yeah? And this is what we are all born to do. Worship mm -hmm. God. Now this doesn't mean worshiping just by prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means in your livelihood, remembering God, appreciating Him, yeah? So what I want to do is I want to hear from your side, your point of view. Like, about, about the fitra? A bit or? about yourself, a bit about yourself, <laughs> why you're an atheist, because you became an atheist, yeah? Uh, yeah, or but but not but not in the traditional sense. Not in the up atheist. I wasn't really brought up and I was brought up in a sort of kind of semi-Christian, no, not, not even Christian, it's difficult to, it, it's boring, never mind, yeah, but, but yeah. like, a, no, I'm not, most atheists I find to be quite irritating really, they're sort of the type that kind of blue-haired Marxist freaks on campus yeah. just trying to get free speech censored, I don't want to yeah, be associated yeah, yeah, with them to be honest yeah, yeah. with you, so uh, yeah, sure, you know I, I, I think you can be an agnostic yeah. and an atheist to be honest, because one's a claim to knowledge and one is a claim to, be, to belief, really everyone's an agnostic, or they should say they are, because agnostic just means you're not certain, so I'm not certain, I don't say there's no God, I'm just saying, uh, what's it, I don't believe you that there is one for now. If that makes sense. Do you, I, 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 change? Do you think that could change? I mean, I'd be closed minded if I said no. But sort of, so, so. So, so, would you, would you say, that, by the way, do you want to say the drip tea, coffee? I can get someone to talk it. Uh, I'm alright for now, thank you. No, tea, that's... coffee, sister? Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Can someone thank get coffee? Uh, <laughs> I will. Again, again, for yourself. Mashallah. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so you see, what, what we want to do here, because you see at Salam organization, mm -hmm. what we're trying to do is, we're trying to change this vibe in the park, yeah? There's been a lot of controversy, a lot of heat, a lot of ego, and we don't want to look, I'm not here to win an argument. Oh, no, you're not. Yeah? No, that's fine. I'm that's not fine. here to say, okay, one point to me, no point to you. Yeah, no, one-upping each other, sort of, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, it's all ego. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm here to genuinely understand where you're coming from, and I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Absolutely. That's all it, yeah? So now, that's why I come. I want to talk exactly, to Muslims, exactly. see what yeah, you guys are about. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so Jacob, that's why. Now, what kind of evidence would you require to logically and reasonably say, okay, there is a higher intelligence or, or there is something there? What, what would you require? Okay, so uh, last week, um, there was a group over there, I think they were Christians actually, they were there, and, they, and they had a poster saying, um, free healing, you know, come, come and be healed. And they, cla they claimed, if I came over with a, a broken leg or something and they uttered a prayer for me, um, they, they said, I've seen that happen, that's just mended right in front of us. You know, we can attest to that. And they had some woman who I think was a plant say, oh yes, it worked, it worked for me as well, right? And I obviously didn't have nothing, you know, anything wrong with me. But if I had, if I say had a broken arm, okay, and, uh, and they said, if we pray to Jesus or, or whatever God it, you know, it would be the same if it's a Muslim, although I think you, you guys don't have the similar healing thing as, as they do, right? If, if that worked, I'm not saying I'd be fully convinced, but that would be a big step, you know, if something like that happened, if, if there was some sort of, you know, real miracle that I could see. And when I say miracle, I don't mean kind of, oh, just look at the world around you, isn't it beautiful? It must be finely tuned. You know, if there was some kind of uh, um, astrophysicist, Carl Sagan, or, or Sagan, yeah, I think it was Sagan, um, said extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Yeah. So I don't really know what I could 
I, I can't think of some kind of, oh, yeah, that point, that would be the point that okay. would kind of push me to believing, but it would have to be something. All I know is it would be quite a, you know, a really good argument or a really good sort of okay. moment. So, now, I want to use some arguments and see if you will uh, relate with it. Yeah? Go ahead. How do you know, how do you know my watch is designed? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, because I've seen many other watches before and I know from sort of uh, empiricism that you know watches need a, a human uh, designer oh. okay have you gone have you gone and seen my watch get designed no I haven't huh. okay so then can I say from the get-go you believe you believe that my watch is designed even though you have not gone and seen it get designed yourself your watch personally no yes yes, yes you okay. could say that mm. okay but let's say all the other watches have you gone to the factory yourself and seen it no of course not okay mm. so then can I say that you have believed yes. that my watch is designed yes. because you did not go to the factory and see it. So now, if you have belief but not faith, okay. Same thing. Can we say? Not no no. It's not the same thing. Okay, so so faith. This is perhaps a more atheistic definition, but I think it is at least one definition. It is faith is the belief without evidence. Okay. So a be belief can actually have evidence. You know, you believe something okay. because it's supported, whereas okay, faith would be purely fa faith yeah, is, yeah. is 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 in epistemological blind, blind, conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's no, not even blind faith, but faith as a as a an area or a way, I think it's a way of knowing yeah. in um, theory of knowledge or epistemology yeah. uh, is is a bit like intuition. It's yeah. a sort of knowledge without any kind of um, kind of evidence that's grounded in metaphysical reality or, or naturalism. Okay, yeah, no, you're right, I accept that. Sure, okay. sure. Okay. Belief has some kind of evidence behind Okay, so then, what I would need to say is this, yeah, you believe that this watch has a purpose? Uh, yes, so, 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 okay, yes, 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 in order to tell the time, yes. Okay, it has design, mm -hmm. therefore it requires a designer. Yes. Okay, so now you haven't gone and seen it get made, mm -hmm. Yeah, you haven't seen it, the assembly of being put together, but you have some kind of a prior knowledge or a, uh, a conviction mm. that this has to have some kind of a design. Yes, an a, an a posteriori piece of knowledge, not an a priori yeah. knowledge. Okay, what's if, the difference? Uh, uh, okay, so I, I know this probably from reading Kant and probably before. from. No, so so a priori, yeah. ask Hijab about this because uh, yeah, I've been I read his book and I know this like. Is so a priori or, or analytic um, knowledge, which is defined by Kant, is you know logic that, um, it, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's a logical argument. You know, it's it's just it's sort of self-evident. If I say. Um, uh, what's it? Uh, the, the law of identity. You know, all um, a, a tree is a tree. That is an a priori bit of knowledge because you don't need to. I know that oh, without without it's empiricism, it's without innate, observation, innate. it's innate. Yes. So the, the opposite of that, a posteriori, is observational, empirical. Okay. 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 A priori. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. I, I think it's a priori or yeah, yeah, yeah so whatever. So that's what we're talking about here. Yes. Yes. This is where it relates back to the fitra. What mm -hmm. I was telling yes, you about, yes, yeah? yes. What we're all programmed with. Sure. Yeah? Sure. So now you know that when you look around, you be it the tree, be it the coffee, be it the watch, be it the trainers. Yeah. That you have this innate disposition inside you that that has to have some kind of a design. Wait, did you say the tree? Oh, oh. Not the tree, not the tree. No, but, no, okay, but, okay, okay, okay. This where we this where we differ. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the watch and not the tree? Okay, uh, because the watch is a man-made. Um, Item, yes. and uh, I don't think the tree is. In, well, insofar as you, you can plant the seeds, it's but but, yeah, but it's not it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. it's it's a natural yeah. natural occurrence. Yes. You know, so, so even if there is a god, you know, a, a watch differs from a tree, sort of regardless of whether God is in the picture or not, because you, that requires a, a sort of direct human action. You know, it needs effort to have been pieced together. You know, a tree will just sort of, you know, happen because okay. of the biological because of non-human processes. Okay, so we know when we say Mother Nature. Yeah. This is where, for example, we believe that shirk is one of the worst sins in our in, in our faith. What's shirk? Sorry? Shirk means associating partners to God. So, for example, okay. we believe God created the universe, okay. and what we do is we ascribe it to Mother Nature, yeah. um, or this statue did it, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Jesus did it, or Muhammad did it. Yeah. So, what we see is that this is a form of shirk. What we're doing is something that. We believe God Almighty is created, we ascribe it to Mother Nature, random activities, random stuff that happened and popped into existence. Mm. So what I'm trying to do with this is that you understand and acknowledge, even though you did not go to the factory and see the watch get made, innately you know that it has a purpose, it has a design, it requires a designer. But when we compare it to the tree, I'm trying to understand why is it that when it comes to the tree, it's no, 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 no. That's a whole different okay, story. Okay, right, I'm, right. That's what I'm trying to understand. So when you say innate, do you mean a priori? I, I, yes, my, yes, okay, yes, no, it's not. Priori, okay, yes. so no, my knowledge that that needs a designer is a posteriori, okay, okay, not okay, a priori, because okay. because because I've observed watches yes. and I've observed um, you know people saying, look, obviously you know you need 
because I've got a very limited understanding of how clocks work because you need a cog and gears and, okay, and whatnot. Okay. You know, I know that we need all that. It's not innate. It's not I, something I, I that I was just know. Right. Yeah, I know you do. I what? believe. You know why I believe that? Why do you believe because that? Because if you was walking on the desert, uh, William Paley's and, argument. And, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you never came across a watch in your life. Yeah, you don't know what a watch is ever. Yeah. You see on the road. Yeah. Mm. Uh, on the sand, yes. this. Yes. You're not going to say, okay, I do not believe this is a cause. I do not believe this is design <coughs> because mm. I have never seen such thing to like such thing like it before. Mm. So if we have some kind of like a spaceship or some kind of weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not going to say, oh, hold on a second, this is. Um, uh, it can be, uh, for example, that I'm seeing things, but we're going to say, okay. Let's assume you're not hallucinating. Yes. Let's okay. Let's okay. assume I'm not hallucinating. I don't smoke weed. Yes. And I don't think anyone should. <laughs> so. You're going to come a priori using that. Uh, uh, okay, you're right, going right, to right. say, hold on a second. There must have been some kind of cause. That's why I believe it's a priori, not okay. what's the other one called? A posteriori. A posteriori. Po posteriori as in posterior, posteriori. meaning behind. Okay. You know. Sounds like a, <laughs> it's a, a mouthful. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So can I tell you why I think so? That's an argument made by William Paley, um, who made it before Darwin. I know you guys, you probably don't believe in evolution, but this was before Darwin came up with his theory of natural selection. And William Paley's teleological argument, the, the blind watch. Uh, sorry, not the blind watchmaker. Yeah, that's a book. The, the, the watchmaker watch argument. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's a, now, The Blind Watchmaker is a book by Richard Dawkins, but the watchmaker argument is what you're saying. Do you know why he's wrong? Okay, you're, you're saying if you come across a watch, right, and say you're part of some kind of um, primitive tribe, you know, you've never had any contact with any sort of civil, you know, civilized, te technologically advanced uh, peoples, okay, you're saying if you encountered a watch, having never encountered a watch or any other kind of technology before, that you would still innately believe that that had a designer. I disagree with you. If you've had no experience of technology before, I don't think you can safely say that you would instantly know that has a designer. I, I would say you do. You know why? why because either you have few options. Mm. Either created itself, it came from nothing, or it was created. You can well, no, 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 but you might think it was naturally occurring. Okay, so, okay. so never mind okay. whether it's so self-created or, you know. So what you're doing is you're calling it nature. Yeah. yeah. We're saying what you call nature is God Almighty, but you're attributing God mm. as nature because God has his uh, names and attributes. What you're doing is you're saying, okay, that's a random event. That's what I'm trying to come to. I'm trying to come to the beginning of yeah, the universe. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. So but I'm, ju I'm just saying, oh, sorry, so finish, finish. Sorry, sorry, Jake, yeah? So when we come to the universe, it's the same thing, yeah? We have two arguments, yeah? We have the Kalam cosmological argument, yes, and we uh, have the new argument of contingency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come to those if you, if you yeah. like. But just, I'm saying with, with the watch, I'm saying you can't know that maybe there is some tree on your island, you haven't explored the island, that produces these bizarre looking fruits that looks, you know, it's got a strap and it's got a face and it's got numbers and hands that move. Maybe that fell from a tree and you just don't know. That's not a problem. It still requires that there was some kind of a cause and design behind it. Okay, but then you're going cosmological, then, then you're abandoning the teleological argument, the, the, the no, argument no, from I, design. I am, I am, but what, what our atheist friends do is they, they, they divorce them. They'll say, okay, this is man-made, the tree isn't, so you can't compare the two. Okay, and I'm saying, yeah. why can't I? Because has a, has, a, has a purpose, is designed, requires a design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and if we go back to, the, if I give the example of a tree of the universe, which, I'm, which was my next argument, mm -hmm. is for example, the universe itself, you have a couple of options. It either came from nothing, either created itself, it was created, it was infinite, yeah. or it came by chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all good. Now, so now, but that's not the same as with the watch. Okay, with the watch. Why not. Okay, because with the universe, there's a possibility that it actually did begin to exist. Maybe that because of God, or, or well, I'll, I'll go to that in a minute. I just want to address the watch. Okay, I'm, I'm not dodging your question, but but the watch, you know. Okay, it, be it began to exist in the sense that it was it began when it was pieced together, yes. but the matter that comprises it, it still always, existed always before. Okay, yes, so yes. so really, you know, the argument you can just trace it further and back. Okay, but what created that bit of metal yes, and yes, take yes, it yes. back to the beginning of the universe, and then you're just talking about yes. the universe. But the watch itself, you cannot actually say for certainty that it's designed if you've never come across um, such we, a we, sort of design technological. We can bit. say it's designed, but the materials to make it did not appear from nothing because it was there from within the nature. Yeah, yeah, it was it was there from within nature yes. I just don't think you can say I, I think if you were you know like I said if, if you'd never seen a watch before and you would never seen you didn't even know what a kind of clock or any device was I don't think you would think that's designed I think you would think um, really? yeah I've, I've, well I, I can't say for certain or maybe okay. maybe you would think maybe if you were sort of in some kind of I don't know in the Sentinel Islands you believe that the god of the Sentinelese just sort of put it there in which case in which case it would be a design a yeah it, of course it requires a let's, course let's do this here. okay let's there's, do you want to go there's a divorce that happened Let's bring them back together sure, in harmony. Sure, sure, sure. This is made of atoms. Yes. The tree is made of atoms. Yes. A lot of things in our universe, universe are made of atoms. Everything, really. So now yeah. let's join them as one family. Okay. Okay, they come from the same substance, yeah? Therefore, where did this substance 
come from. Okay, so... So then, then we're joining together. Let's go with cosmo cosmology then. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so, so do, uh, do you want to you address Kalam or, or so the contingency one I first? I think contingency is more powerful. Okay. Uh, but let's, let's go with... I'll say that... <laughs> Can I? Do you mind if I whip up my notes page? Because no, no, I did. Please, I came here looking to um, yes, get an interview with Hijab. Not that. Oh, Hijab in Hajj. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. I won't be seeing him for a while then. Because yeah, so I, I, I wanted to ask him a few questions, not only about these arguments, but also because I read his book, which I yeah. thought was a very intelligent like piece of essay. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was interesting. Okay. Some errors, I have to say, but uh, yeah, you, you tell him off. I will. <laughs> I shook his hand once, but then he got involved in some fight that was okay. happening elsewhere. So, uh, yeah. for David Hume, in his uh, dialogues concerning uh, natural religion, he says he has this to say on a contingency. I don't think this is a quote, this is my sort of analysis. But Hume writes, It is evident that we can never perceive the non-existence of a necessary deity as equally impossible as twice two, or two times two, not to be four, at least not with our current faculties. Is that... Do you want me to stop bit by bit and, and go into it? Okay, so he says, It will still be possible for us at any time to conceive the non-existence of what we formerly conceived to exist. I.e. anyone is able to conceive God's non-existence, nor can the mind ever lie under the necessity of supposing that any object remain always in being in the same way as we lie under a necessity of always conceiving two times two to equal four. Thus, necessary existence has no real meaning. So he, he questions whether it's even appropriate to distinguish between necessary and contingent, contingent existences. And then the character who he's using, Cleanthes, goes on to say, so that's point number one. Point two, he then says that, okay, let's assume, let's grant the, religion, the, the um, theist that there is some necessary being. He says that for all we know, the material world or universe as a whole itself might be the necessarily existent being in spite of the way in which parts of it might depend on other parts. Since it must be unknown, inconceivable qualities that make anything a necessary existent, for all we know, these qualities may attach to the ordinary physical universe rather than to any immaterial thing or person or deity behind it. Okay. Point two is maybe the easier one for you to answer. But. Hijab and uh, we also have uh, Dr. Shraib, uh, they refute this argument. Okay, because right. What it is, is because what you're doing is you're giving the necessary cause, ne uh, necessary uh, being, mm. yeah? Ne I'm sorry, necessary existence, you're giving those attributes to the universe. So what you're doing is you're saying, and this is where shit comes mm. in, yeah? Because mm. we believe, I don't truly believe there's atheists ex exist. All they're doing is that. You they, don't believe atheists exist? I don't believe there's such thing as atheism. Like, a okay. Individual atheists. What, what they do is this, yeah? Let me tell you why. I might, I might be wrong, yeah? Sure. Um, is that. What we do is we get Mother Nature. So for we'll say, oh, this is, this is this is Mother Nature. What you're doing is you're ascribing a a attribute of God, yeah, the Creator, to Mother Nature. It's Mother Nature. The tree, well, look, ah, it's Mother Nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're just worshiping something besides God. I'm not worshiping no, it no, really. No, I don't have any. No, no, I, no, I, I think I know what you mean. But saying indirectly, what's happening is, for example, what he said there yeah. is that this necessary existence may be the universe. So what you've done now yeah, is you've yeah. given the properties of a necessary being to something that's contingent. Ah, uh, okay, right, 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 let me look. Yeah? Okay. And that's not a possibility, yeah? Because at the end of the universe, can the universe be any other way? <coughs> any other way? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean by so, that? So, for example, the contingency argument is that, for example, the universe could have been in any other way. The sun could, the sun could have been there or not be there. Uh, the tree could have been there or not be there. Your shirt could have been there or not be there. It's not necessary, it's contingent. Yes, okay, yes, it's yeah? contingent. So it could have been any other way, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Yeah, The necessary existence cannot be any other way. Everything, yeah, yeah, even, I get that, I get that. Even if we go with the argument of the universe has always been there and it's been creating and creating, it all goes back to, it still relies on something that relies on something else. So it's always, uh, okay, it's right. always contingent. Yeah. Okay. But the, that's why we say it requires a necessary mm. existence mm. for it to make sense, because it could have the universe could have existed or not existed. Yeah. It could have been there or not there. Yeah. Uh, sure. Mm. Okay. Well, actually, no. Actually, no. I don't. I don't know that for certain. Okay. Okay. I would say what, maybe. Maybe the universe okay. was necessary. So what we say, Jacob, is that <coughs> we say Excuse me. it's necessary existence. I mean, uh, contingent. Yeah. Mm. Uh, possible existence. It could yeah. have been the same other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The universe could have existed or not could have existed. It, it could have not been there. But the fact that it is in existence requires a necessary, uh, uh, necessary um, being for ex existence. existence. Yes, yes. It requires that. This is why we don't. We're trying to move away from the Kalam cosmology argument because yeah, leave Kalam, leave Kalam. Regress, yes. Yeah? Even though I believe it's a very strong argument, but I've been using it so I much, yeah, I just yeah. want to use yeah, something yeah, yeah. new. <laughs> and this continues. I'm, I'm kind of grasping this too, yeah. So I'm, I'm, sure, I'm that's fine. Me too, I'm, me too. I, I haven't fully got it, but do you understand where we're coming from? I think I do. Can I, so several points to just there. So. Um, 
Oh, what was your first point about uh, you don't believe in, in atheists really? Oh, yeah, no, that was it. We, we, we're taking attributes of God and instead ascribing yeah, it to Mother nature. Mother nature. Okay, right. So my disagreement with that is that it's the other way around. For me, what you're doing is ascribing elements of Mother Nature to something and calling it God. Okay. So it's actually you who's doing that, okay. you know, and I don't believe that's a sin or anything, but I think that's what you're doing. I think that um, I'm going to be so bold as to think that my position is the more uh, innate one, which I'm sure you disagree okay. with. Um, what's, and then you said after yeah. that, uh, so just, just rehash your yeah, argument so, bit so by bit. Just touch upon that. So you, you okay. believe that because you're basically saying, we're saying God made man, you're saying you guys are claiming, uh, you're saying man made God. Uh, uh, yes, that's all yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yes, God yes, man, yes. Yeah? Okay, <clears throat> the evidence to that, what I'm trying to say is that, is, is that it goes back to the argument of that can the universe come from nothing? It cannot. Uh, yeah? now, now that is sounding a bit Kalam. It is, it is. I'm, I'm, trying, okay. I'm trying to go there more forward. Maybe it can make you understand better. Okay, the all right, all argument, right. I mean, uh, the contingency uh, argument can fly over people's head, yeah? So just to bring it back to the basics. Okay, all right, go. The universe, do you believe the universe had a beginning? Um, I think it could have done, but I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I, I wouldn't be justified in saying yes at the beginning. Okay, I believe in the Big Bang, but that, that we don't know the Big Bang was the okay, beginning. Let's go through the logical arguments. Yes, let's. Okay. So what we're seeing is that if you're walking down the road and you see an accident happen, yeah, yeah, you will say, okay, there's a cause to this accident. Yes. If you go and go to the ice cream, uh, somebody comes and gives you ice cream. Yeah. You want ice cream, by the way? No, I'm all right. Cream. You can say, okay. <laughs> And if you got me an ice cream, you probably got it from the ice cream shop. Yes. Logically, you're de deducing it. You make that mistake. Love, that? Uh, it's all right, all right. Deducing that. it, <laughs> logically, to come to the best possible understanding, logically. Yes. Yeah? Why is it that when it comes to God, when we say, okay, hold on a second, the universe, yeah? Um, and I'm not even using fine tuning, yeah? That's fine. For example, when it comes to the universe, we say, oh, hold on a second, Ali, stop there now. Logic, put that to a side now. Now we're going into, it may have created itself. I'm just wondering why that happened. That's all I'm asking. Well, I did make a logical argument for the, for the self-creative. No, but, okay, no you didn't, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, no, no, why, why? Okay. It's all right, you could say, I'm, I'm not offended by anything. No, no, you no, say no. what you want. <laughs> How can something, for it to create itself, it has to exist and not exist at the same time? Yeah, no, 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 that, that's fine, that's fine, but just, when I, when I say I made a logical argument, yes. that is a fact. Now you could say, oh no, your logical argument yes, wasn't yes. valid or it wasn't yes, sound. Yes. So but my argument re regarding the infinite causality within the finite time, that was a logical argument by definition. So I never you say you no, didn't it still, make that. It still relies on it. Even if you say infinite uh, causations in a finite time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? which I believe if I'm mistaken is kind of a contradiction because you're in a finite space and you have an infinite uh, 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 event, um, infinite chain of events. Are there, are there not an infinite number of decimals between zero and one? There are, an, there are an no, infinite no, no, number no, no, of decimals number. but operationally, in the real world, it doesn't exist. Like I said to you before, mm. we can say, okay, do as you far know as we this know. mean infinitely, yeah? yeah? No, no, as far as you know, but this is what I'm trying <laughs> yeah, to say. Yeah. You know something as far as you know, there's yeah. a possibility yeah, 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 of being wrong. Yeah. We're talking about certainty. We're talking about something that has to require a cause. Mm. Why is it that we throw that away and we go with the, I believe it's an absurd possibilities, like it creating itself, it's a logical impossibility. It mm. coming from nothing, a logical impossibility. It being there forever, again, infinite doesn't have no beginning and no end. Mm. So we cannot add or subtract from infinite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah if yeah. the universe had a beginning, it's, it, it's debunks all claim of infinite. You can you can call it infinite towards the future, but not towards the past. So I'm Poor Alec Ale Vilenkin seems to think so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but so far, it's just look. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I, I do understand what you're saying. I, I, just, just, I just want it to be like just, uh, just something that you can ponder upon. I make a much better argument without these people. Um, <laughs> You know, there will be no laws to say that everything needs a cause, yes. because there's no, there's not even any any temporality. So there's no um, kind of uh, cause and effect. You know, cause must precede effect. Uh, there's no sort of requirement. Do you see what I'm saying? So so with saying with nothing, saying, anything can happen. So you're saying just we, okay, no. You're saying just because we have laws within our universe yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't mean there's going to be laws in the nothingness. Yeah, okay, pretty much. What I'm trying to say is that firstly, to make that leap, yeah. You need to know what nothingness is. Yeah. So now what we're seeing is that nothingness is the absence of something. It's the absence of anything. It's the absence of anything. Yes. So that's our whole premise. 
Because if there was nothing, from nothing, nothing comes. There can't be, okay, there's... That, ah, but that's what I'm disagreeing there's, with. There's, no, no, but we can't say there's some random laws and those laws that are there, that, that they don't apply here. Yes, maybe. But the issue is, if there was a nothing at this point... Yeah, sorry, example. If there was a nothingness, there is no laws. There's, there's, there's nothing. We can't, exactly, there's no laws. And no God. If there's nothing, oh, okay, there's okay, no, 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 no Okay, okay, no, no, no. Okay, good. So what I'm trying to say is this. My point is that, yeah, is that if there is a point of nothingness, yeah. We say it cannot come into existence. If it's a nothingness, it's just nothingness. Yes. And I'm not going to say, nothing's not going to say, <laughs> yo, I'm, yo, I'm as bored, bundus. <laughs> Let, let, let me just get, yeah, let no, come into existence, yeah? It's not going to do no, that. Nothing, this is a road, exactly. man. Exactly, nothing's going to say, yeah, yeah, man needs to go, uh, let me come into existence, yeah? So I'm saying that if there was nothing, the point that we're seeing is the fact that our universe exists requires a cause. Because if it was nothing, we won't be here, we won't be arguing, there's nothing to argue about, it's just nothing, nothing just floating in nothingness. Yeah. Therefore, <laughs> that proves to us the fact that the universe exists, if it does exist, it did not come from nothingness yeah mm. there was a cause behind it yeah we believe god can say kun fayakun be and it is so god can say i want the universe to begin he has the attributes and that those powers to do it so that god has the power to make something come from of nothing of course yes yeah, that's what you're trying to say right. god right okay, okay that way that, that's a difference this is where okay. we go to the contingency argument yeah yeah, yeah the contingency yeah, yeah. argument says that everything within our universe is contingent it could have been any other way it requires a necessary existence Otherwise, nothing would make sense. What you said, these laws and everything that's in place, nothing would make sense. The universe, it either came, look, I, I said to you, can it come from nothing? Impossibility. Zero can never equal one. Right. I, I still want to come back to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so. Zero, can zero ever equal one? Can zero ever equal one? Sorry. No, never. Can, can? All the admirers, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, can it create itself? Can the universe create itself? It's an impossibility because it has to exist and not exist at the same time. Can it be infinite? No, it can't because it had a beginning point. Infinite doesn't have a beginning, it doesn't have an end. The only logical, rational possibility is it had a beginning, it had a cause. That's what I'm logically working. Am I wrong? Yes! How? 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 This is all based upon our world picture and what we know. At the moment, you're absolutely right. With respect, you know, the thing is, is that at the moment, we can't have something from nothing, as far as we know. But in a hundred years' time, in three hundred years' time, in a thousand years' time, somebody may, we, our, our, our knowledge is expanding, our understanding is expanding, okay. and we may suddenly understand things that seem okay. absolutely impossible at the moment okay. you only have to look at newton and let's say einstein the thing is is that so you know einstein put newton put forward a series of ideas you're talking about a paradigm shift what yes. thomas kuhn called a paradigm shift that's which it. is a shift in our understanding sorry he, sorry, he sorry. Got big arms, yeah, that's like uh, oh i wish yeah, <laughs> yeah. no 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 i, I mean you're saying there's, there's well, my, by the way. uh bill uh, Bill, what, what we're trying to say is this, but do you not think you're doing like a leap of faith? What you're saying is that we may and it might be and we can and sure and maybe. Don't you think that it's because what you're doing is like you want to believe that there's not a God and you're saying that I might not know now, but in the future I might. Don't you think that's a bit unfair? Because then why don't you go with the certainty that there is an intelligent being and if in the future you somehow find through this, uh, this paradigm shift, then you can. Why do we not go with the Asa, which is the origin, that there has to be a creator and then if scientists come and say, guys, look, man, something can come from nothing, here's the boom. At least I will say, okay, then I hear you out. But for the time being, why are we rejecting a notion which logically, rationally makes sense to us and we apply this logic on our daily basis, but it comes to God, we reject Well, the creator is only one option that makes sense, okay? So that's the only the option. I don't think it is. So, so. Sorry? The What's the other way? He even listed some of the options that make sense. So, so, so the ex nihilo model, okay, the self creative uh, model, uh, and yeah, an eternal. Sense, right? Sorry? Because, look, just because they're options, because someone might come and say, no, I believe the universe started by a purple elephant yeah. in, in Mars, yeah? Yeah. Now, to, to me, that is the same sort of, you know, line of reasoning as, as, as God did it, okay? To, to me, you would need just as much proof to prove God as to do so a, a purple elephant. You know. no but, but is there some food for, 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 for? Uh, Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Tell me, tell me, 
kind of just with, with reference to perhaps one of those options, yeah. tell me sort of like in, in maybe three sentences something that could be really thought provoking that I, I need to go and think about to resolve a problem of either the okay. ex nihilo or the self creating okay. or the eternal one. Is, for example, show, a, um, show us a theory that something can create its own self, that something can come from nothing, or it's infinitely been there. Mm. These three will smash this argument. If you can do this before the Big Bang, before the Big Bang, yes. what happened before, before the, Big the Big Bang? Well, we can't know. There's no way of knowing what happened before the Big Bang. And also, whatever happened before the Big Bang actually has zero influence on what happened after. Okay, because there was a breakdown on the quantum level, which would mean there was no no nothing that happened before the Big Bang. Maybe it was God. Okay, it would have any influence on post Big Bang what is temporality. The best explanation is that there has to be an intelligent being. That's the best explanation to mm. the laws, the way we think, our conscious, conscious is another argument, the hard problem of consciousness. Yeah? Oh, we, I'll, I'll come thing. to that another day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it before, yeah? Yes, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good, Jeremy. Yeah, no, well, thank, well, thank you, I appreciate it. We're here, I'm here every day, every Sunday. I'll come to you, I've got a lot of other stuff to talk about, whether it's Quranic stuff and, and here, temporal stuff. I'm gonna, I'm, right, I'm right, opening yeah, it with yeah, Stein, Salam Corner, Salam, yeah? Okay, right, got it. Okay, big up Salam. Yeah, thank you. Big up Salam. Big up Salam. We're gonna be here every, every Sunday there from 12 to um, sunset, yeah? Oh, yes, sorry. 12 to sunset, yeah? And if you want, if you have any questions, your job might come as well. Okay, I'd love to make your job actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Three weeks time over here. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you.